What up, what up, what up? Ladies and gents, back at it. Mr. Harris here, another beautiful day. Let's talk. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get these messages out. Uh, 2030. You own nothing, you will be happy. Uh, for those of you that don't know the World Economic Forum, check them out. You know, they're basically a conglomerate of rich people who are coming together to make social change with their money, power, and status. <laughs> What else is new about life, right? And I, I believe it was yes, last year. Last year, they put out an article where, where basically they, they projected a forward 10 years into 2030. And they stated that by 2030, uh, you own nothing. You have no privacy, but you will be happy. And this is what, this is the idea of what the rich and powerful, and I'm not talking about millionaire rich and 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 that's one of the things we got to clear up because so so in america we are so antipathy for anyone who has money that we think that the common millionaire is a part of the problem we should tax the common millionaire we should take away their real estate they shouldn't be able to rent out property because they're going to make money like five to ten million these could easily be business owners plumbers who work 30 years carpenters who work 30 years bought a couple houses and was able to make things happen when I talk about the rich and powerful, I'm talking about billions upon billions of dollars, right? These individuals. These individuals are getting together to make plans behind the scenes. And we don't understand how Cove was the catalyst to bring us to that point in time quicker. You know, Cove was an acceleration of technology, of automation, of putting people in a, in a financial bind. You know, we, we and, and it's so difficult talking to people because we forget that history, history has always been about people in power, people with money, people with riches, lording, manipulating, bending, the game to their will over the over the majority that's how it's always been since the days of Christ and Caesar even back then they were taxed to death you know even then Yahweh had to go into the to the church and throw these 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 manipulators out of the church for making the word a business and it's still being done today, but I'm saying that overall, the, the history has always been these people in power that are using everything in their power to keep themselves in power, to accumulate more power, to have more rulership and dominion over the citizens, over the people. And in 2021 of September, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I don't blame them because I look around and I see how so many people are distracted. So many people are just going about their daily lives not thinking about 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years here. If things are so crappy, maybe not in your life personally, maybe not in my life personally, but the overall stance of society, how people are feeling about America, how people are feeling about education, about money, about debt, about jobs, about all these things that we know deep down inside, something is not right about. Something is not the way it should be. And no one asks questions. No one asks questions. <laughs> Everyone's hope is in a vex. I don't care if you got it or not. It's just where do you lie, where do you lay your priorities in your thinking for the future? <laughs> it's crazy. And so I, I don't blame them because, you know, me being in a former military, for, fortunately, I've never been deployed. I haven't had to see combat, but I understand that life is combat, especially as an African-American man. I'm not better. I'm not smarter. But I understand our experience as a black man in America is just different from everybody else's, even from the Latino man. At least a Latino man has his people behind him. Latinos stick together when they gotta stick together. 
black man, you're by yourself. <laughs> you're you're it, it's you're dolo out here. And I'm telling you, uh, this morning, coming outside, people sleeping places that they shouldn't be sleeping, standing around. I mean, you could tell. It's not to judge or knock anybody without knowing their full circumstances or what's going on in their lives. It's just, you can tell, like, people are struggling. People are going to hurt. And no one has an idea of what's what. Or why it is that way. Even with so much information available, people aren't seeking knowledge. People are seeking entertainment. And that's okay. That's okay in 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 portions. And even myself, I've realized that I was just losing my mojo because I was just so focused on how things are going, listening to YouTube and what everyone says and for me not say F what everyone says man, because everyone's trying to sell a product, sell their channel sell this or sell that and to an extent I'm trying to do the same thing it's just I'm thinking 10, 20 years down the line I'm saying to myself even on a basic level even on a basic level. I'm thinking 10 years. Still paying, what, 1800 a month in rent? How am I supposed to save or get ahead or invest if I decide to go down that road? It's going to be quite... <laughs> not impossible. It just, it's, it's just going to be difficult. What about for the average everyday person out here? Can they afford that? So these are the things I'm just thinking about. And you know, what's funny is that yesterday I was uh, listening to a video and a man spoke about how, you know, the rich are building these smart cities. And Saturday I was watching Blade Runner. No, 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 no. Yeah, Blade Runner um, with this guy. I forgot what his name is. Uh, famous actor, old movie. And I'm a real estate guy, so I'm always looking at buildings, I'm looking at cities, I'm looking at, you know, these urbanized environments. Because that's what create, you know, it's all about people, right? And so I was looking at the city environment, and it looked like one big castle, you know, like in the middle. It, it was just weird, and I said to myself, this is how smart cities could be. I'm telling you, me, I don't want to live in no smart city. Listen, I know that Jeff Bezos created Amazon, which is a billion dollar company. He's a billionaire. He's taking over other markets. I would not want Jeff Bezos or, or, or the Amazon Corporation to be my landlord. If you think your landlord is an issue now, I hate the idea of, of having an issue with anything and not being able to get on the phone to speak to a live person about whatever's going on. And that's how Amazon would be as their landlord. At the end of the day, I'm just running on a, on a tangent. I, a tangent, I just think that we have to think long-term, we have to pay attention to what's going on. These folks are plotting, plotting for, for the whole entire world. They already own the money, they have the, the resources, they have the companies, they have the militaries. I mean, heck, you pay enough men, especially mercenaries, there's ex-special forces, there's ex-infantry. You could buy your own military. These folks can buy their own military. So we gotta be observant, we gotta be on point. Take care of yourself. We're gonna talk soon because we can't just talk about the hypotheticals of what can happen without thinking about or planning. What can we do? And more and more I say, we have to create our own city. We have to create our own, buy our own land. It's not gonna be as technical, technological as it is today where uh, we have all the luxuries that technology can afford. And to be honest, we need to move away from it. 
we need to move away from it they're gonna take our jobs we need to find ways to be productive that's gonna mean going back to farming going back to building going back to the community type style of living because if you're it, 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 to each his own but you want to be a city boy you want to be a city girl you want to rock in the city you want to you are going to bend to their will because we see it now we see it now how they're locking those who are not vaxxed out of the system they're doing it slowly but surely but that's what they're doing and it's going to get even more serious it's going to happen in the future where you're going to have to take a chip or you want to be a part of society or you got to take a chip you want to get work you got to take a chip you got to you want to rent you got to take this chip that's the way it's going down Look at the ticket guy out here. I, I don't I don't I don't get mad at it. it is what it is, but I'm telling you, the system is going to squeeze the common everyday folk, squeeze the blood and life out of them. And most people aren't going aren't gonna notice or do anything until it's too late. For me, nah. I'll go live in the middle of the nowhere in, in a van, in a tent. Cause facts, I already bought a tent. Sleeping bag, everything. I'm not playing. If that's what it comes to, then fine. So, thank you for watching. Give me your thoughts. Give me your comments. Uh, you know, post your thoughts. Later.